and welcome back to this channel and in this video today we will continue 2.1 isotope this is the part 2 of 2.1 so where we will define isotope we will look into what is isotope and we will write isotope notation let's look into isotope notation first we are going to learn isotope notation for neutral atom for cation and anion in the previous video, we have learned cation is a positively charged ion that is formed by losing electron. Anion is a negatively charged ion that is formed by accepting electrons. So, look into the isotope notation for neutral atom. That is the isotope notation for neutral atom where you have the symbol A, Z, and x and what are a z and x represent x is actually the symbol of the element symbol of element means if i'm having oxygen the symbol will be o if i'm having sodium the symbol will be n a if i'm having chlorine the symbol will be c l that is the symbol of element while A represents the nucleon number of the element. While Z represents the proton number of the element. And since it's a neutral atom, therefore it don't have any charge over here. There is no charge. The first example that I have on the screen is sodium. As you can see, it's a neutral atom, therefore on this, Part, you don't have anything because it's a neutral atom so there's nothing over here from this isotope notation given what do we know we can know the nucleon number the nucleon number is 23 because that is the location of your a where a is the nucleon number while 11 represent the proton number and how about the number of neutron, how about number of electron and the charge? The number of neutron can be calculated from nucleon number and proton number. We know that nucleon number is the number of proton plus number of neutron. So since I have the nucleon number and I have the proton number, what would be the neutron number? It will be 23 minus 11, 12. How about number of electron? Number of electron will be depends on the charge. Since the charge is zero, there is no charge over here. Therefore, the number of electron must be equal to the proton number. Proton number is 11. Number of electron will be 11. So, a simple isotope notation like this will give you a lot of information of that element. How about writing the isotope notation? I have the element given is neon. I have the nuclear number, proton number, number of neutron, number of electron given. So how can we write the isotope notation? We start off with the symbol. Neon symbol, Ne. On top here is the nuclear number. Nuclear number given is 20. So it's a 20. Down here is your proton number. Proton number is 10, so it's a 10. So, do we have charge? The charge will be depends on the proton number and the number of electron. Proton number is 10, number of electron given is 10. Therefore, the charge is 0. So, do we need to put anything on here? No, just leave it empty on top of the neon. So, that will be the isotope notation of neon based on the information given. Next, let's move to cation. Cation is a positively charged ion. Bear that in mind, positively charged ion means electron is removed. So, when electron is removed, proton number will be larger than the number of electron. So, the isotope notation looks like this. That is your 
x, where again is the symbol of the element. Where a is again the nucleon number. Where z is the proton number. What makes cation isotope notation different from the neutral atom is the charge over here. It's a cation, so it's a positive charge. Therefore, we have a positive charge on top right corner of the symbol. Next, the example that we have on the screen is aluminium. From this isotope notation, we will know the nucleon number is 27. The proton number is 13. While the charge of the aluminium of this isotope notation is 3 positive. But how about number of neutron and number of electron? How do we identify that? Number of neutron will be from the nucleon number and the proton number. When you minus the nucleon number with the proton number, you will have 14 and that will be a number of neutron. 27 minus 13. How about the number of electron? What would be the number of electron for this aluminium 3 plus? 3 plus means that proton number is more than the number of electron by 3. If my proton number now is 13, so my number of electron need to differ by 3. So the number of electron is 13 minus 3, 10. And that is the information that we can obtain from this simple isotope notation. How do we write the isotope notation if this information is given? Magnesium. Therefore, the symbol will be Mg. Nucleon number given, 24. Proton number given, 12. Do we have charge? Is this correct? Do we leave it here? No. How do we know whether we have charge or not? It depends on the proton number and the number of electron. Proton number given is 12. Number of electron given is 10. So the proton number is more than number of electron by 2. Therefore, the charge is 2 positive. So this is a cation isotope notation. How about N ion? N ion is a negatively charged ion that will be formed when electron is added into the atom. And that resulting proton number will be less than the number of electron for N ion. And the isotope notation look like this. So same thing, that is the symbol of element. That is your nuclear number. Similar thing. You should have remembered it by now. This is the proton number. And this is the charge of the N ion. The example that I have on the screen is oxygen ion, O2 minus. So from here, what do we have? Nuclear number, 16. Proton number, 8. The charge, 2 minus. Work out the number of neutron. Number of neutron, nucleon minus proton. 16 minus 8, 8. Number of electron, what would be the number of electron? Since it's an anion where the number of electron needs to be more than number of proton by the charge. So the charge right now is 2 minus. Proton number is 8. So the number of electron needs to be 10. So that the number of electron is more than the number of proton by 2. And how do we write the isotope notation of an ion? So I have chlorine as an example. So I have Cl as the symbol. I have nucleon number 35. So I have it on the top. 35. I have the proton number 17. Are we done for the isotope notation? No. You need to check all the three important things 
in an isotope notation, which is nuclear number, proton number, and the charge. And the charge will be depends on the proton number and the number of electron. As you can see, the proton number is 17, the number of electron is 18. So the electron is bigger than the proton by 1. Therefore, the charge is 1 minus. So the charge for this anion will be negative 1. And that is your isotope notation based on this information. Isotope. So what is actually isotope? Isotope are two or more atoms of the same element. They must come from the same element that have the same number of proton in their nucleus but different number of neutron and therefore different mass number. A very simple example of isotope is isotope of hydrogen where hydrogen having three isotope, they are hydrogen 1, hydrogen 2 and hydrogen 3. And the isotope notation look like this. As you can see, they are all the same element. We only call them as an isotope when they are from the same element. So they are all hydrogen. And proton number of hydrogen 1, hydrogen 2 and hydrogen 3 are the same, which is 1. So the proton number remain the same. And what makes them different is the number of neutron. Number of neutron for hydrogen 1 is 0. Remember, that is your nucleon number. And your nucleon number is equal to the proton number plus the number of neutron. Therefore, when the nucleon number is 1 and the proton is 1, the number of neutron is 0. How about hydrogen 2? Hydrogen 2 having nucleon number equals to 2, where the proton is 1, therefore the number of neutron is 1. While hydrogen 3, the nucleon number is 3. 3 minus the proton number 1, therefore the number of neutron is 2. And they are isotope because they are 3 different atoms from the same element that have the same proton number but different number of neutron. So that is what we call isotopes. And we come to the end of subtopic 2.1 and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.